Welcome back to Minivan Camper Gal. My name's Kelly, and today we're going to take a look at my newly installed power system. I installed it last night in the dead of night because it was too hot, um, and the sun is just coming up, and I'll show you what it looks like inside. So I've got my two batteries. They fit perfectly in the little well here. And I have all my connections, my solar controllers down here. And let's check out the battery monitor to see. And yes, I am. I have three watts going in, hardly any, uh, but it is working. I wanted to come out first thing this morning just in case, I don't know, there was some problem. Didn't want to wake up to like sparking wires or something. So I think it looks okay, luckily. Um, I was able to fit these two huge batteries. This is a combination of 4,000 watt hours. It's so much power. It's so great. Both of these are um, 200 amp hours. And why in the world would I need such power, you might ask? Um, I use it to run my fridge and to run Starlink and to charge my computer. So I don't actually use a ton of power, but my solar panel is 200 watts, but it will get me through several days of storms with no sun at all. And I find that with the solar panel, I can really only charge the batteries about 20% at a time per day. Um, so that's like if I'm not using any power, the most the battery will go up throughout the whole day is 20%, which is actually kind of a lot because they're so big. But I find that with limited solar, it takes much longer to get the batteries back up to full health after you've used them throughout the night. It is a little bit of overkill battery, <laughs> but it's such a game changer to have a ton of power. So here's what it looks like on top. You can't really see too much. A couple wires. You can tell something's up there, but you can't quite tell what. So I'll show you. So this is a Renogy flexible panel here. So it just molds to the curve of the roof. I have corrugated plastic to kind of give it a little bit of air gap. And to put it down, I used, uh, it's kind of like Eternabond tape, but it's Gorilla, I think it's all weather, weather seal tape. Uh, and it really works great. It is tough to put on without any bubbles because you've got one shot and then it's not coming off again. But I did have to take it off my van and it came off pretty well. It was really, really hot. It was a super hot day and I think that helped. But basically, I just cut it here and then peeled it off. There was a ton of residue, so I took a putty knife, scraped it off with the putty knife, and then sprayed Goo Gone, and uh, it got it off pretty well. And how do the wires get in the car? So I take them down here, and this doesn't, this actually doesn't pinch the wires at all, which is good. And it comes down here, and I put it in through the tail light. I'll show you some video of me doing that. And then it comes in over here and gets routed over to my solar controller. The tail light comes off uh, just by there's a little plastic piece that needs to be popped off and then it's kind of hard, but it pulls out this way. So you can see these grooves here, how the tail light slides out from there and it slides out from under this hook here. So it's tempting to want to push it that way, but don't do that. 
So you can kind of see here how there's a grommet going inside and it's got some uh, electrical tape around it. But there's a little bit of extra room in the grommet. So I'm going to see if I can get my two solar wires in there as well. I don't know, that's a lot of wire. So that totally did not work. And what I ended up doing was cutting a little V shaped notch out of the grommet and running the wires in through that. And then here I'm using the weather seal tape to uh, make sure that everything is sealed up. And then one more thing on top, which is this crazy piece. <laughs> and this is my uh, Starlink mount. So if you haven't seen my video where I cut down my Starlink and make it flat and mount it on here, uh, go check that out. But this is basically just a place to have bolts and I bolt it down when I'm using it. Starlink has a new version now, which is like a really small flat version. So you don't really have to cut it down anymore unless you have one and you want to uh, get rid of the legs and everything when you set it up. But anyway, I'm excited. This is a big step forward. I have all my power sorted. Um, it's getting seven watts now. <laughs> So that's the thing about solar panels is they might say 200 watts, uh, but you actually never get 200 watts. I think the most I've ever gotten with this one is 180. So the SUV is coming along, but I'm really happy. I think it fits better in here than it did in the van, honestly. In the van, I had everything on top of here, on top of the batteries here. It was kind of a mess. This is um, less of a mess, if you can believe it. <laughs> I still have yet to plug in all of my like actual outlets and things like that, um, but it's pretty easy. They just plug in with these little plugs here. and So this is my cover for my batteries. I thought I had recorded the beginning of it, but apparently I didn't. But this is a box that just happened to fit the batteries perfectly, a cardboard box. And I took some pieces of wood and glued it into the box to make everything stiffer and more stable. So in the middle, I have a very thin plank of engineered hardwood that we just happen to have left over at the house. And I also have some blocks of wood that keep the box up above the battery terminals. So the box itself is resting on the batteries, but uh, it's not touching anything and it's very stable and strong. I glued the wood down and then paper mache over that. So I'm making progress, paper mache my little cover, but about 10 minutes after I paper mache this, you can see how it's wanting to bend. So it really likes to change and shrink and uh, move around after it gets wet. So I'm gonna have to to prop that up there. So I just finished my battery cover and it's pretty sturdy. It's not quite dry yet, but I want to get it in here to make sure that it doesn't warp. Oh, it fits perfectly. Very nice, super sturdy, not flexing anywhere. Yeah, great. 
So if you want to do this yourself, um, I have a whole video on how I laid everything out, what size cables I'm using, all of that sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, it's coming along guys.